Hey guys, what's going on? I'm back again uh, with another video in the Android Maps series. Um, today we're going to talk about markers, which are just um, little icons that come up on the map that point to a specific location. So I'm just going to show you guys um, how to use those and some and some various features of those that are nice and allow you to customize them a little bit. So um, just to get started, we're going to create uh, an object, and this is just um, a default type in the in the Android Maps um, SDK. It's just lat long, um, just a location. So we'll do location, and then that is new lat long. So just create an object of that, and then you specify two doubles. The first one for the latitude, and the second for the longitude. And um, I just have two points that I've chosen. Um, Beforehand, this is just uh, a sandwich shop in my um, in the campus town of my college. So, um, yeah. And then now, what we need to do is we need to create this new object, and this new object is called a marker options. So, for everything that you add, not marker, marker options. For everything that you add to the screen um, on Google Maps, for example, like polygons or polylines or ground overlays or markers you create this options object first and then you pass that in to add something to uh, the map. So we'll just create that options object first and that's just, we'll do new marker options and then yeah. And then what we do is on this options object we set a bunch of parameters and then when we pass it into the Google Maps API it takes those parameters and converts it to something that goes on the screen. So we'll just do options dot, uh, I think it's location, or no, it's, it's position, and we'll just use our location here. I guess we should rename this to uh, location. The cool thing is if you do shift uh, F6, you can rename um, a variable in Android Studio or IntelliJ, um, and it will rename it all of its uses. So yeah. And then the last thing we need to do is take that, um, that options and do take our Google Map, and then add a marker and use that marker options object. So this is going to add that marker to the screen. Um, yeah, one other thing we're going to do before that is we're going to zoom in on the current location. That way just so when we add the marker, we're going to show it. We don't have to kind of zoom in on the map and try to find it. So to do that, we just do Google Map. Um, you know, I'll actually take this and put this down when we add the options. Um, Google map dot, uh, let's update uh, camera, move camera, and we do a camera update factory is what it is. And we'll do a new lat long zoom. So we can specify um, a location, just a lat long object, and then a float for the zoom. I'll just choose, uh, we'll do like 18. That seems to be a good uh, level of, of detail to go to. Um, just reviewing things. So I got my emulator coming up here. Apologize again for how long these these things take. It's it's quite annoying with Android and um, how long Gradle takes, but but you know it's part of the game. Um, after this, it should it should run more smoothly because we can use the instant run. But for now, this is what's going to happen. Okay, so you can see that we have a marker here now. Um, and it's outside Fat Sandwich, which is uh, just a sandwich shop at, at the University of Illinois. Um, so yeah, um, let's add some more things to this. So some other things that we can do is we can take this options um, this options object and we can add a title to it. So let's do a title and we'll just say Fat Sandwich Marker. Um, so now when you hover, I think it's when you hover over the, um, I'll do the instant run so it's faster. When you hover over the the, the marker, it, it should show something, or maybe it shows it underneath it, I don't, I don't know exactly. Um, maybe when you click it, yeah, when you click it, it shows that this is the fat sandwich marker. Um, there's some more stuff we can add to in terms of information. Um, we can add a snippet, which is just um, an extra piece of, of text to go along with it. So we'll just say this is a snippet, um, not snipper, snippet, <laughs> just to show what a snippet does. Uh, 
Okay, so if we click on this, I think there should be a snippet. Yeah, the snippet is just some extra information that you can add um, below the title. Just a little cool little thing you can add. Um, now what else? Let's see, we can also uh, do something where we change the color of the icon. Um, and to do that, we do icon, and then we do a bitmap descriptor. I think factory dot uh, default marker, and then in here we can specify a color. So let's do color dot uh, blue. I think. Um, yeah, I think that should work. So instead of being a red marker, it should be blue now. No. Okay. I think it's actually taking a float. So let's just put in default. It should be one. We'll do a 0.5 float and see what that does. It should just be a different uh, different color, I think. But we'll find out. Um, come on. Nope. Okay. I'm not exactly sure why that is. I need to look at the documentation really quick. And I'll post these links to the documentation um, just so you guys can see. See what's going on here. Anyways, that doesn't really matter too much. Um, what we're going to do next is we're going to do that same icon thing, but we're going to use an image instead. So I just found some uh, free online image here um, just for an icon made by Pow Media. Um, and I'll put an attribution to that in the description of this video. But um, Let's go to this image and download 64 by 64 because that's a, a good size for the map. Um, might be a little bit big, but that's okay. Anyways, go back to Android Studio. And what you want to do is to add this image is go up to this Android bar up here and change the projects so that we can uh, look down in here. And then go through App, Source, Main, Res, Drawable. So we're going to drag this image into the Drawable folder. For some reason, it doesn't work unless you go to this um, to this view. I don't know why, but I've had better luck using this view. So let's we'll just call this Map Marker. Um, and then we can go back to the Android view if you want. Or you can stay in that. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't really matter too much. Um, OK, so in here we do options.icon. And instead, we can do um, bitmap descriptor factory, the same again, but instead from resource. So what this does is this is going to take a drawable ID and that would be map marker, and um, create a bitmap out of it. Well, a bitmap descriptor, and then that's what Google Maps uses to, to render images to, to the screen. So we'll just run this again, and you can see that we'll now have a new marker here, um, which is pretty cool. Oh, instant run is not going to work, I don't think because we added new uh, new files to the it might error out because we added new files to the system and it might not have have realized that um, but we'll see if it works come on yeah oh actually it did work. okay cool so now you can see we have a different marker you could substitute obviously any image for this one um, if you wanted to and if we click it again it still has this um, this title and snippet which is awesome Okay, so there's two other things I'm going to show you. Um, well, three other things, actually. One other attribute that we can add, and then two kind of event sort of things we can do, like dragging, or what we can listen to so that we can determine if the, if the icon is being dragged or clicked, and then do something based on that. So first, let's just set it to draggable. Um, I won't run it yet. We can, we'll be able to see that um, what you do is you, is you tap on the icon and you hold it down, and then you're able to drag it, and then the location will be changed from that. So before we um, run this, let's add two more interfaces to this class. The first one is on map uh, on marker, sorry, on marker click listener, and then on marker uh, on marker drag listener. Now, what you want to do here is uh, press do alt enter on this line and then you can do implement methods and then we can grab all of the um, missing methods from the interfaces that we're implementing um, just so that the error goes away okay so we're not going to use these on marker drag start and on marker drag end events 
those aren't really what we care about. Uh, we just care about the, the in-between. So I'm just going to stick these down here and close them up. Um, but first things first, we want to do the unmark a click. And what we're going to do is we're just going to log... Um, actually, I actually lied. There's, I'm going to show you a few other things before this video is over, but this is some of the more important stuff. Um, we can set a tag for this so we can see it in the debugger. And then we'll just do uh, marker dot dot get title so we can just see the title of, of the current marker that has been clicked. If there were multiple markers, it would it would show a different title, and I'll show you that in a little bit. And then um, we need to return true because we have uh, used up the event. We have processed it. So, and then for this, we just want to uh, what we're going to do is just going to log the location of the marker so that way you can see that as we drag it around the the actual location stored in the marker uh, is changing. So, um, I think it's get position. Yeah, get position. So let's. Uh, we need to do two string because you know that long. It's an object. So let's run this. And actually, that's not going to work yet. First, what we need to do is we need to add these listeners to the Google Map. So we just need to add. Um, it's set. On marker click listener, this because this uh, current class is what we're is what we're uh, using to implement that interface, and then set on marker drag listener as well. Yep. Okay. So now let's run this again, and this should this should work just fine. Um, hopefully, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Just close this up and run the sky. Okay, so now we see that this is here. Um, I'm just going to go down to this log here and type in maps activity so we can just filter it by um, only things with this maps activity tag so it's just easier to see, see what's going on. So let's down click on this and you can see that when we drag it around, you, look, you can see that um, all of those locations in the log are kind of um, changing, which is good. Um, it's a little bit laggy just because I'm screen recording. And there's, I think there's a bit of a bug with with just the emulator about where, where the icon is, uh, where, the, where the marker is, based on where your mouse is, which is weird, but whatever. So now we can also do the on-click. Uh, if you click, you just click and you don't hold. You can see it's just saying that sandwich marker. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, now what do we want to do? Well, I just want to show you that if we have two different markers, there's certain things we can do, and we can show that these that these um, on click on these these listeners will these listener methods will will kind of know which marker has been clicked. So so you can get information that way. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm going to copy this and paste it here, and we're just going to do location two and options two. And then we're just going to do Google Map uh, dot add marker options two. So I'm going to just do um, change the title here to second marker, and then this is a snippet two, just so we can differentiate between the two. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to set something in both of them called, I guess, hold on, this should be. Uh, it should all be options to you. Just a little bit of a mistake here. Okay. And then you need to have a semicolon here as well. Um, cool. So now, let's take a look at this. What we want to do is take options 1, they're just options, and we're going to set them called the Z index, which is just basically where it is relative to other things. So the higher the Z index, basically the closer to the user, so it'll be above other things with a lower z-index. Uh, not draggable. We want to set z-index here. So if we set z-index here to 1f, we will be able to see that... Um, I want to use location 2 here as well, sorry. We'll be able to see that the top marker is, is this second marker that we added, because the z-index is higher. And we'll be able to see that by clicking on it and by um, looking at its title and snippet and things like that. Um, 
as well as just when we drag it and click it. So basically, if we click it, you can see that it says second marker um, in the log. For some reason, it's interesting. So the click event is not necessarily going to recognize that it's it's an interesting feature. It's not necessarily going to recognize which one's on top, but what is displayed is on top. And if we hold this down and drag, we should be able to move it. And then we can see that this one is marker two. No, it's actually the second one. So yeah, the, the click events have actually, hold on, let me plug in my computer. The click events have nothing to do with the ordering, but the display ordering is is, is based on the Z index. So that's an interesting little feature. I mean, for some reason, when we added these click listeners, it seems that these titles and snippets don't want to come up anymore, but I'm not exactly sure that why that is, but it's not a big deal. So, yeah, that's that's basically all I want to show you guys about markers. Um, I'll post a link in the description, or links in the description, multiple, of uh, kind of the documentation for markers, and this is, this is just an overview or description of how to use different markers, and then... This is the actual documentation for the marker class, and this is the documentation for the marker options class. So yeah, I'll post all of those, and then you guys can take a look at those if you want. Uh, yeah, so thank you guys very much for watching. Um, hope you're enjoying this, and uh, yeah, leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment, whatever you want. Next time we're gonna go over, I think, polylines. Um, there's a lot of you to draw lines on a map, which is pretty cool. You can do things like routes with that. So we'll try to do kind of a a more full tutorial with kind of something more real than just putting a marker somewhere. So, yeah. Thank you, guys.